Let's step up just a little bit. I just left church. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Look, I'm sweating. I'm no, nervous. Right? Great. Get ready for a couple of takes. <laughs> Running a marathon was on my bucket list, but I was diagnosed with cancer during training. With the help of the center, I've got my running shoes on today. Cancer cannot stop me. In my 90 years of life, I've seen a lot. But thanks to you, I'm gonna see a lot more. I was diagnosed with two different types of cancer through my annual checkups. I know I still have a purpose in life. My wife and I have been married 71 years, and Dr. Hinkleman told me that my cancer is clear and come back and see him in six months. So I'm very happy about that, except that my wife has stuck with me for another few years. Thank you for all those who have contributed your time, talent, and treasure for making my journey through Hodgkin's lymphoma be right here at home. April takes care of her boys. She calls me one of her boys. So as a family, we say we have four children, but when she says she has five. My mom is the best cook in the world. Even if I do wrong, she still believes that I can do right. She got sick maybe in March. I didn't want anything to happen to her because if, if she did, I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know how to wake up in the morning and not see her face or nothing like that. When my mom got diagnosed with cancer, I felt that when she came here that she would be in good hands. My thought was I didn't know what my children was going to do if something was to happen to me. A year ago, I was nursing my youngest of my five children, and um, I noticed a lump. Immediately just coming home and just having to tell the kids was one thing, and having to tell them the stuff that we'd have to go through. And we did go through me losing my hair. My oncologist was Dr. Jay Sox and he's at Mary Bird Perkins, and um, he came highly recommended. Rather than, than go somewhere else in the country, I decided to go to Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at St. Tammany Parish Hospital because it was right here in my backyard. I literally live five minutes away, and being a mother of five children and being a wife, to be able to be treated while my kids are at school and to be home when they come home and look in their eyes, whether I'm sick, on the couch, or whatever, I'm here, and that means everything to me, and that means everything to my husband and to my kids. So that was huge for us. The hardest thing for me was just sitting there wanting to help, but couldn't do anything physically. I couldn't prescribe anything. I couldn't do something that could change it. I heard one of the, the ways that the word compassion is defined is to suffer with and to really try to embrace that suffering without necessarily going through with cancer, but we're going through it in a way together. And so that's been kind of the challenge is to enter into that deeper relationship with her, with her pain, and not just to check out, not to be like, well, she's dealing with that. There's nothing I can do, so I'm gonna turn on the television. We all came out a lot, a lot stronger through it. It was hard, but uh, it was really, I think, foundational and uh, beautiful too. Because of you, I get my mommy and my wife. Thank you for helping mommy. It means so much to us. Because of you, I get my mommy back. Not only does my mom get to raise me now, but she also gets to see my kids grow up and my brother's kids grow up too. Because of you, I have my mom for many years to come and I am so grateful.